Hey guys, today we're making a ring out of dirt. No, that's not a joke. It's gonna be super simple, so I'm just cutting out the intro. And if you're asking why I'm doing this, I don't really have a particular reason, mostly just for fun, but the kind of the goal here is to show that it doesn't really matter what exactly you're working with. As long as you take the right steps and you make the ring with care, you should be able to make something that looks good in the end. So uh, we're gonna find out if that actually holds true, if the ring actually looks good or not. If it looks bad, you can just pretend I didn't say that. But spoiler alert, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, the first step looks pretty dumb. I'm taking the dirt and I'm putting it in the oven. But I promise you there's a good reason to this. I'm just trying to get all of the moisture out of the dirt. It was a nice dry day. I figured there wouldn't be any moisture because if there's too much moisture, that might ruin the epoxy. All right, now I'll get my mold ready, which is just a PVC pipe with some hot glue on the end of it that I glued to this lid. Now it's time to mix up some epoxy, so I'm pouring equal halves out into my container, mixing it up thoroughly, and this AstroTech epoxy has a really long working time, so I'm not worried about rushing or anything here. So I pour it out and I slowly add it to the point where the dirt gets saturated, but I don't wanna do any more than that. I want this ring to be mostly dirt with just enough epoxy to hold it all together. And you can see just how thick this is. It's because this ring is like 90% dirt by volume. And if you guys are familiar with dirt ring fans, you'll know that they hate when their dirt rings have bubbles in it. So we gotta throw this in the vacuum chamber. That's going to release any of the trap bubbles that we've got in here. Should leave us with some very professional dirt rings. Now I'll just slowly but surely pour the whole thing into the tube and we'll let it sit overnight and let it cure. Now here it is, it looks ridiculous but it looks pretty good though. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this in my vise and I need to use a hacksaw to go ahead and cut this tube off because I was silly and forgot to use mold release on this. So this is gonna be hard to get out of the mold. All right, then I used my metal bandsaw to cut off a piece that we can use to turn into a ring, and I quickly learned that this was a very bad idea. Just cutting off this one piece here completely dulled my bandsaw blade. Next time, I'd probably use a diamond abrasive cutoff disc that wouldn't get dulled by the hard minerals that are contained in the dirt, but not a big deal. We're ready to move on to the next step. I'm going to throw it into the lathe, and we need to hollow out the center to get it ready to fit onto an expanding ring mandrel. Now that it's on the mandrel, I just need to thin it down, get it to size, I'm gonna trim down the width as well. Now 
Now that it's on the mandrel, I just need to thin it down, get it to size, I'm gonna trim down the width as well, and then we can get started on the finishing steps. All right, now I'm using a fine grit sandpaper bit on my Dremel to go ahead and smooth the ring out and get rid of any deep scratches that would show up in the finished piece. And I'm even at this step, I'm adding bevels to the ring to give it kind of a more professional look. Now once I'm sanding with the Dremel, I'm ready to go ahead and give this a CA finish. So you can see how I do this. I just hold up my paper towel to the ring and then just slowly drip some super thin CA on there. And it's actually pretty amazing how nice the finish turns out. Now I'll quickly just smooth out the inside, sand that down, and then repeat the same exact steps with the CA finish. Now as a finishing step, I'll just give it a quick polish on my buffing wheel. Now here it is. This is really ridiculous, but just look how good it looks in my opinion. I honestly really like the look of it. It kind of reminds me of like a Coca-Cola ring or something, just like that dark caramel color with the lighter color of the fizz of the Coca-Cola. I don't know, that could just be me. Um, in general though, it's just kind of cool because it's just a dirt ring from dirt in my front yard. Um, before you ask, no, these are not going to be for sale. This was just a for fun project. I should definitely be back next week with a much more serious project. But if you like these kind of videos, let me know because I'm definitely happy to do more. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.